What's up guys, it's your boy MG. Here we are, round two of the US Hard Enduro Series, Premier Series in Page, Arizona. This place is absolutely stunning. Let's go take a lap on lap one, course number one for everybody on the weekend. And I got a little surprise for you here. I'm gonna be riding something a little different than my normal. So I'm gonna combine this, make this a little bit of a review too. I'm gonna ride the st Stark Varg here. It's the first time I've been on one. I've been on one, but not in any type of hard enduro setting. So let's this got, I got Taddy settings in here. Let's see how this thing, let's see how this thing does. I don't know. I put a set of wheels and some mooses on it and my boy Cody's let me try it. So let's run it. See how long it takes us. Boom. Starting now. We got a full charge on the unit. See what we can do. That's that's for sure. How hard do we make it right out of the gate? Oh yeah, it's fast. Things happen quick. Huh. Pretty impressive to be able to crawl up that. So jump there. First mesa that we get to. Nice big climb, let's get it. it kinda goes right up. Stay 
feels like it's glued to the ground. Sort of heavy, just stuck to the ground like. 89%, ooh, wonder if we'll make it. Pretty spicy little off camera downhill here. Not sure if I took a wrong turn or what. Okay. Guess we go this way. Gen on this. Oh, that stuff slides, rides out pretty nice. The steep downhills. You still want to lock up the rear brake or the front brake. Just keep it steady. Let that thing roll. Uphill time. Oh boy, here we go. Oh dude, this thing rocket shipped up it. Oh, this thing's fun. I mean, things haven't gotten too hairy yet, but up until this point, this thing's been fun. See how people might run that main gut down the middle? I'm kind of swerving it. You can ride the angles of the terrain. You'll get better control and traction. surprisingly stable and just gets pretty good traction. Works pretty good. You just have to understand at what point does it start to spin rather than keep traction and drag. It's all throttle control. So far this course is sick. Nothing too wild. Okay, so where... I hate when they do this. That must be course two. Let's try this way. You know, it keeps pulling. If you just trust it down low, got pretty good power. I'm at 48 horsepower and 35% regenerative braking, uh, braking, uh, engine braking. stable planted stuck to the ground like nice stiff suspensions
nice jump. Yeah, you can just jump it almost anything. Got some course workers done. Everybody working hard. Woo! Did I lose it? I think we go this way. Right, this one like a bowl. Full spine action. Final! Pretty sick! This course is dope! Eighty two percent. Quick recovery for some a uh, little, little bit of arm pump. It's different when you got when you only have your hands to hold on with. You're only and there's no clutch. It's all throttle control, which means you have to keep control of your wrist to, to manage the power. So if you're really far back, you got to be holding your wrist. Man, it works pretty good though. Pretty sick. Oh. The fun factor. I don't even care how long it lasts. Ooh. Oh. This looks gnarly. Oh boy. Let's try the main line first. See how it does on stuff where I think I would need a clutch. Oh, it did fine, I guess. A little different. Ooh, this stuff is slick. There's a layer of sand on top of the hard sandstone. Of course, two option there. Pink arrow to the right. Let's take it. One thing I will say is like, usually a hard enduro bike works like garbage in the sand or in the whoops, but this thing seems to eat the whoops up. Might be a little stiff for hard enduro, but it, it it works. At least as far as I can tell, it feels like it works. Just unlimited power. How much power do you want? 
It's only at 48 horsepower. How much power do you want? How are we supposed to get up that? Are we supposed to go around? Pretty, pretty freaking good. I gotta get Evan on this thing. He's gonna freak. Let's try this. No problem. the power and how stable this chassis is through all this chop thank you guys is it the course straight up that yep, all right where to go oh, no, let's just try the main line get a good run take a vision to the top Visualize it, see it, do it! <laughs> Woo! She crawled! There's a lot of good chances to slide out and slip out right there, but it just kept its straight line. Oh, this looks a little bit gnarly. Little ditch there, just beware. way to learn how to ride it ride the course one get used to the bike kind of get get into gradually more difficult terrain another big drop there to be aware of Boom. Sick little side hill section right there. Here we go, here we go. Man, takes it pretty good. Goes right up really. I must say, so far, this feels like a well-designed course. Holy shit. This looks gnarly. <laughs> I think this is the line here. Yep. Oh, that's a nice crack. Don't love it. Let's just try it anyway. Oh, not bad. Rolls right out. A 
Ooh, we got horses straight ahead. What a perfect opportunity to show them how cool dirt bikes are. <laughs> This is so fun. They're looking at us like, yo, what is that? That is an electric motorcycle. Yes, sir. Yeah! We'll appreciate that. <laughs> Bits and cores, guys. Flynn, the promoter of this race, has put so much effort into making this a fun, family-friendly, amateur rider-friendly event. It's almost gotten a, bad, a bit of a bad rap for being too gnarly, super hairy, big giant obstacles. And through format and course change, he has made big efforts to scale this event down for the people. So that everybody can show up, have a good challenge, have a good time, and also see some of the most incredible riding from the pros that qualify into a 20-man, uh, 15-man, 30-man main event, 45-man main event, something like that. It's one of my favorite events all year. So many people put so much effort into this event. The Rockstars Motorcycle Club, Jim Flynn, Ryan Wells does a lot of work for the course. And then I know there's a bunch of Hawaiians here that are helping out with the course. Idahoans here helping out with the course. What a sick little community we have here. Everybody's down to help. Man, this Stark is so sick. I gotta say. They didn't spot me with this bike or anything. This is lent to me from my good buddy, Cody Hess, my client, friend. He's like, bro, Stark is grinding something. I was like, bro, I'm in. This looks steep, but let's see how she rolls. Oh! You know the instant power that you can get from this bike? What I like about it is it makes it easy to get squared up lined up and straight before a big hill like that last one we just had. We were gonna do a left, so let's fade to the right. Wow. Woo. 
Careful right here. Hit this thing at an angle. Boom, to the right, to the left, to the right. Here we go. Oh! Seems like a rocket ship! Sixty-six percent. Hope we can make it through this whole course preview on a battery. That would be dope. Down, down, down. You know, it's, it's a heavy bike, it's, and it kind of feels heavy, but the way that it does, it's like planted to the ground. It's almost like you're sucked to the ground. So like on these little edgy, side edgy things that want to kick you sideways, this thing does a good job at keeping it staying straight. This thing does a good job of keeping straight no matter what you're in. Whoops. Uh, I, rode a, I rode one of these on trails actually. Super stable. I think this is I Mount I Hill I Mountain P Mountain. Ha! <laughs> Let's get a little nose really going. See if it does it. Oh yeah! Oh, sick! Predictable. Predictable. So it's a good job of staying on top of stuff. Ooh, this looks nasty. Good thing I got a thousand horsepower in between my legs. Unlimited power. It's nice being able to just give it more throttle. Uphill. Sick! So sick! Might need a little more banner there. Damn! You know, you think you think um, riding an electric bike, or I guess you could say transitioning from an electric bike needs to be a little more ribbon there. From an electric bike, from a gas bike to an electric bike, you'd think it would be really a big adjustment, like going from a two-stroke to a four-stroke, which in some ways it is, but. It hasn't been hard. I've felt pretty natural on this thing right out of the gate. So it's intuitive, which is a big one. That's a big one for me. Of not necessarily like how much can I, how far can I ride it, but more so like how rideable is it? 
what kind of experience does it give me? Is it, does it, can it go a long time, but it feels weird to ride? Okay, no thanks. Oh no, don't want to go that way. I, want, I, I mainly want something that's comfortable to ride and works properly. Let's go to the chunky chunky stuff like that. Oh boy. They got this in for the guys. Wow. This thing's like a rocket ship. It just shoots up that shit. Careful on hills like this, because this has a really abrupt bottom. Fuck, if you send it too hard into there, you're gonna not feel so good. Shit, I don't even like it. Coming from that side would be better. I got an idea. I need to extend that leash a little bit for the M's. We're going up this. Okay. I see. That ribbon probably can just go right here. Does pretty good this thing. Holy shit. Too bad. I would say make an effort to look as far ahead as you can see because the course markings sort of lead you into a lot of this stuff wrong. And then it's hard to correct once you're in. So if you can look far ahead and plan your route, you can go all the way through it, it's gonna help a lot.
sick! We're getting a little better and a little better as we go. it a little bit it works for spotters kind of sort of I think it's possible a lot of concern about not having a clutch need to make these banners a little wider I think you guys need a little bit more run at some of these hills coming down coming down them too crikey mate wonder if I got into some of the course two stuff Oh, damn. Big send. Quick recovery. Right back up. They leave this to run out. Fresh tracks. Whoa. Damn. Fifty-seven percent. Hopefully, we're about halfway through. <laughs> Headed back across the mesa. Greasy. Yeah. 
you know, I gotta say, I've been riding a little bit of moto lately, a little off-road, different stuff. Moto is so fun. You have prep corners and all this fun dirt. It's like fun to the max. But if you can ride hard enduro, if you're capable of it, it's a lot of fun too. Cause then everything just becomes an obstacle. Shit, this looks steep, big, gnarly. Maybe Evan will tell me that, oh no, that's blocked off. Red tape, I see. Okay, woo, that's course too. Do I gotta do it? Yeah. I would though for you guys. Maybe. That's gotta be where they come down. that ribbon red ribbon don't show up very good on the orange dirt does it sick little hill climb right here Ooh, stuck it feels good when you do something right Yeah! Evan keeping an eye on me. Figured out a few film spots for us and the crew. Such a key part of the equation. Let's round some turns! Come on! But it's electric! But it's electric! Come on! Who cares? It's a dirt bike! We should be happy that there's a company that's investing in the dirt bike industry with something different. Eggs over easy. Let's see if we can make this be good. Brop, brop, brop. Okay. Oh. Ah! You know, it finds traction pretty easily. And not having to rev your bike up and control it with the clutch before obstacles is pretty sick. Give me a marker. It'll be kind of tough to follow in, but let's see if we can do it. I think we got it. It goes something like this. That's a finish, baby. 
That was sick. Still rolling? Damn. All right. Advice. If I could give any advice, it'd be look ahead because there's stuff coming. You want to be prepared for it. This place is really cool, sandy, it's loose, it's gonna be getting tricky. Be smart, take deep breaths, keep moving forward, try not to lose it. And um, big thanks to everybody putting this event on. Overall, thumbs up on the Stark. Let's have some fun this weekend. MG over and out.